It's showtime. Hello everyone, Django Fett here, Honeydown Games, comics, TV shows, movies, and more. And this is a review for Star Wars Adventures Omnibus. And I'm back with a quick review this time. So I never read any of these stories before. So I was really interested to read these stories. And it really didn't take me long to read all of them. So why not just create my review in the process? And it's rather questionable whether these stories are legends or not. Because they can fit into the Disney canon fairly well with a few exceptions. And I will get to that on these stories. Also, this Star Wars Adventures is not the same as the Disney canon's Marvel Star Wars Adventures comics. Those are completely different. I'm just focusing on the Dark Horse run. So I will read the back of the book, then get into these stories. Star Wars headliners Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Darth Vader, and others feature in six tales of galaxy-shaking adventures for readers of all ages. Han Solo and Chewbacca are caught between the Empire and the Underworld in a quest to pay off a debt. Boba Fett is on a treasure hunt racing two vengeful bounty hunter brothers to the prize. Princess Leia becomes entangled in the kidnapping of the beautiful Princess Mei, and soon the Millennium Falcon is the target of kidnappers, bounty hunters, gangsters, and the Empire. Vader forces a wisecracking smuggler to guide him to a secret rebel base. On Dagobah, Luke uses the Force and faces monster swarm creatures while training with Yoda. And a young Chewbacca stumbles upon a group of slavers planning to raid his Wookiee village. The stories in this volume take place slightly before, during, and after the events in Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, and Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. So this omnibus came out in January 2014 and would be the third to last of the Dark Horse omnibus books. And this book contains six stories based around the iconic Star Wars characters I mentioned before. These six stories are Han Solo and the Hollow Moon of Kuyora, Chewbacca and the Slavers of the Shadowlands, Boba Fett and the Ship of Fear, The Will of Darth Vader, Princess Leia and the Royal Ransom, and Luke Skywalker and the Treasure of the Dragon Snakes. So the first story is Han Solo and the Hollow Moon of Kiora, sorry if I'm mis mispronouncing it, which is set one year after the Battle of Yavin, and this is written by Jeremy Barlow and drawn by Rick Lacey. When Han Solo and Chewbacca try to escape from this gangster, only to be captured in the process and forced to do his dirty work, Han has to complete an errand with his former partner Bilal Batros, while Chewie is forced to fight as a gladiator. And I was pleasantly surprised with this one, as the artwork was okay for me, but the actual story was really good. It's interesting to see a former partner of Han's in the mix, and there's a reason why Han left Bilal in the first place, as he was just <laughs> pretty incompetent. And he was mentioned in the Scoundrel story by Timothy Zahn, so this leads me to believe this is definitely a legend story. The second story is Chewbacca and the Slavers of the Shadowlands, and this is written by Chris Sarazi and drawn by Jennifer L. Meyer. Now, Chris Sarazi, I was not familiar with, but he was mainly an editor for Lucas Books, but did write one tale story in the Episode 3 comic. And this story is set 200 years before the Battle of Yavin, as Chewbacca relays a story from his youth on Kashyyyk. And this was another surprising story, as the artwork was excellent, and that made the character so freaking cute, man. And you would think it's a nice, fun, heartwarming children's story, but no, this story gets pretty freaking dark as Chewbacca and the Wookiees he's with encounter slavers. And I've never really seen any stories exploring Chewbacca and especially his backstory. So for me, exploring one dark point that kind of changed him was really nice to see. Moving on to the third story, which is Boba Fett and the Ship of Fear, which is set two years after the Battle of Yavin and is written by Jeremy Barlow and drawn by Da Jong. So Boba gets a map from these two bounty hunter brothers and is set to find a prize and he runs into these bounty hunters as expected and things get heated and they run into monsters yada 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 and i gotta be honest with you guys i didn't like the story and i'm a boba fett fan and it hurts me more in seeing a bad boba fett story i love jeremy barlow's work but i feel like he didn't really understand boba fett as he talked too much for his own good and the story was just boring and forgettable and add that to the boring and lackluster artwork it's an all-around terrible combination Next story is The Will of Darth Vader, and this is set three years after the Battle of Yavin, and is written by Tom Taylor and drawn by Brian Koshik. Tom Taylor would end up doing a few notable Star Wars Legends stories, including Blood Ties and Invasion. Vader is tasked to destroy a rebellion base which cannot be attacked directly, so he captures a smuggler who doesn't know when to shut the fuck up, and easily one of the most annoying characters I've ever seen in a Legends story. You really want to wise talk and make a Dark Lord of the Sith annoyed at the expense of your fucking life? Just fuck off. He basically uses the smuggler as a disguise to take down the rebellion base on his own. 
But this was just an all around terrible and forgettable story. Plus the artwork. My god. It looks like a 10 year old did it. I'm not kidding you. It is easily the worst art I have ever seen in a Star Wars comic book story. Period. I'm sorry, but it's just awful. Princess Leia and the Royal Ransom is the next story, and this is set two years after the Battle of Yavin and is written by Jeremy Barlow, once again, and drawn by Carlo Soriano. In this, Leia, Han, and Chewie are racing to deliver information to the Rebel Alliance before Han gets distracted and they end up in a royal mess. Story and art is decent, just not memorable. And this is indeed a legend story because Rays from the Rebellion comics is in this for some odd reason. And the last story is Luke Skywalker and the Treasure of the Dragon Snakes. This is set three years after the Battle of Yavin and is written by Tom Taylor and drawn by Da Xiong. And this time his artwork is actually good for a change, unlike the Boba Fett story. And in this, we witness a never before seen part of Luke's training on Dagobah with Master Yoda. Luke has to retrieve an object guarded by the deadly dragon snakes. This creature was featured in The Empire Strikes Back and ate R2-D2 and then spit him out. So we've never seen these creatures of Dagobah before and the dragon snakes are truly terrifying, and Da Jong's art really helps with that. I like this story a lot, and actually seeing Luke's training explored from The Empire Strikes Back. We don't get legend stories anymore from during the movies, and expanded from that. Now, what did I think of this omnibus as a whole? It's okay at best, with a few interesting stories worth reading for sure, but there's also really bad stories at the same time. So it is very much a mixed bag, and I do not know if I could recommend it enough, as most of these are really random Star Wars stories that are, are just there. They don't really have real significance in the Legends timeline, and there's only two stories that I could think of that are Legends related. The rest, I have no idea. So I'm giving the Star Wars Adventures Omnibus a... If you're interested in getting this, you can find it on Amazon for an extremely cheap price at $10 plus shipping, concurrent to the time this review video is out, and around $10 to $15 on eBay. So on that alone, I actually recommend getting these while you still can because of demand for the Star Wars Omnibus books sell for an, an extremely high price. Two Omnibus reviews down, so now I'm going to focus my time on a few other Star Wars titles, non-Omnibus related, in the meantime. So please be sure to like this video, comment down below, tell me what you think of the Star Wars Adventures Omnibus or if you're interested in it, let me know in the comment section and subscribe to my channel Django Fett and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.